Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. Whoops, sorry. Um, little technical difficulties. It kept killing on me. Um, welcome to Stamp with Peggy, um, 12 Days of Christmas, Day 1. Um, don't do very many lives, so kind of playing, so bear with me as I work my way through. I wanted to start out to show you um, 12 Days of Christmas is going to be a combination of some quick and easy cards, some quick and tr easy treats, um, bags to put little gifts in, um, lots of little things. Every year I do a Santa's workshop um, event, usually live, where I cut supplies for everybody and they come over two nights and make all kinds of Christmas gifts. This year, my Christmas um, Santa's workshop is virtual, like everything else. So I thought I would share with you some of the projects that you have the opportunity or people have the opportunity to make. The deadline for sign up is this Friday, and then the kits will all go out in the mail by next Friday. Okay, I'm going to flip my phone around so that I can jump on. I'm also going to jump onto my laptop or my iPad to see if I can see comments. Okay, so let's switch this around. Close your eyes for a minute. Okay, let's see if we can get that to work. Now let's see if I can see comments. And of course, that's not wanting to work for me. So leave comments and I will go back through and answer them later. Okay, so Santa's Workshop, the first item is a little gift card holder. Gift card goes in here. And of course, then some little chocolates to go along with it. Um, you can write your little greeting inside here. Um, so that's the first project. The second project is little chocolate-covered marshmallow reindeer and snowman. And then I did a little peek hole so that their little faces show. And it just says a little treat for someone sweet. The third one, this one's kind of one of my favorites. It's using the gnomes, which I absolutely love. And then... Holly Jolly Everything. Inside here is <clears throat> one of the little peanut butters to go, or this particular one is the chocolate peanut butter. So it's kind of like Nutella, only it's Jiffy or Jif. And then in the back, there's little gram sticks for dipping into the peanut butter. Okay. Number four is a little holder for lint chocolates. Um, absolutely adorable, just small little things. I can add a little pocket onto the back that you can tuck some cash right inside there. Here's a little dollar to be able to show you that. Look at that. You can tuck that in. They get a little piece of chocolate. It's a great gift. Number four is gift card holders or money holders because everybody's doing that this year. Easy to mail. And then again, my lovely little gnome and the band slides off. And we have a little chocolate bar and again, a spot for a gift card or some money. As you can see, the theme is really heavy with gift cards. This one, I love the little gift card here to be able to tuck some money into. Let me find this other dollar bill again. And then, so that can just tuck right down into there and down inside. Tucks inside of an envelope really easy. Um, this one is another of my favorites. Hot cocoa, we all love. <clears throat> Peppermint spoon. And then check it out on the back. We have a little marshmallow snowman tucked in there. You're the marshmallows to my cocoa. And, oops, this one's upside down. Pretzel rods. We have a chocolate toffee and a white chocolate peppermint. And then there's pretzels. Sharing Christmas cheer, just in a pretty little box. These, these projects all come all cut, pre-cut for you with the treats inside, or treats in the package so that you can assemble them. 
And then we have the beautiful framed art. I like making these. So a snowflake one. Yay, somebody liked that one a lot. Um, lots of little cutouts. You get in this kit, you get all of the pieces, die cut, um, embossed. I use the Snowflake Wishes to stamp this. Um, if you don't have that, you can use one that you do have. Um, but all the pieces are ready for you. You do not get the frame along with it, but you can do that. And then last but not least is a fun little card kit. Oops especially for you. So it's just decorated really pretty. It is the little mini paper pumpkin box. And then inside is a card kit, enough for five different cards. Okay, all using the little treats stamp set. My sister Tina did a, a class using this and I really like the layouts of the cards. So it's using the little note cards and envelopes. And then you're just stamping the layouts are all the same different embossing folders so that whole kit great little project to give us to someone as a gift okay so if you're interested in those and you're not on my mailing list currently make sure that you pop me an email comment in here and i will send you all the information on that now on we go today um I am going to do, like I said, day one through day 12, so through December 12th. Can you believe that it is December already? And Christmas is now 24 days away. All right, so I'm going to do a few drawings throughout the 12 days. The first drawing is going to be for the winter snow embossing folder. So please share this. I'm also going to post it onto my YouTube channel. Make comments in the video, share it with your friends, and I will um, do a drawing for someone to win this. Okay, today's project. Very fast, quick, and simple. It's a little treat holder. It unties down here, opens up, and inside, we have a little chocolate Santa. My friend Robin was at um, Aldi the other day and sent me a message or sent me a picture saying, look what I found there. So I made a quick run yesterday to pick them up. Uh, let's see, I have the whole little package. Okay, there are 10 of them in this package for like $1.79. So 18 cents for each chocolate lollipop. And then just some cardstock and quick and easy to be able to do a little gift for somebody. Okay. I am using the warm and toasty stamp set. I'm using the little reindeer down here. All right. So we are going to start. I'm going to pull my little cheat sheet in over here. Okay. Our first piece of cardstock is two and three quarters by 11 inches. I scored it at three and a half and three and three quarters. I will try to go back into the video and put the measurements in the comments. I will also be sharing this project then on my blog tomorrow, so the measurements will all be there for you also. Okay, you're just gonna use your bone folder to score it or to burnish the edges and then we're using the classic label punch. We're just going to center it and put it down into, we're not going all the way down and you can see we're only going maybe an inch down. All right, I didn't get it quite centered, but good enough. All right, then we're gonna use a strong adhesive. You can use the green glue, you can use tear and tape, I'm using the new Seal Plus on this, and so I'm just going to run a couple rows, and then we are just going to kind of make sure that the bottom is even, and then we're just tacking that down, okay? Then we have a second piece of garden green cardstock that is two and three quarters by six and three quarters. It's scored at three and a quarter or three quarters of an inch. We're just going to fold that 
All right, this is where it folds down over. So we're gonna stick this piece onto here and then we're gonna cover that up on the inside because you know I don't like that. Okay, I'm still trying to see if I can see your comments and things in here. I thought it would show me what's going on, but it's just not. All right, so then we're putting our adhesive right on that three quarter inch piece. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna do it this way so that I can see my edge. Okay, I'm turning the part that we punched out upside down and lining the edge up. Okay, and so now we have this. There's our base for our candy. Okay, now I have some other pieces all cut and ready for you. Hi, Miss Donna. Okay, now we have two and a half inches by five and three quarters. And the Heartwarming Hugs designer paper is two and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so we're just going to adhere the designer paper onto the Real Red cardstock. Let's see if I can do this straight while I'm on screen. All right, and then we're just going to put adhesive on that. That's going on this flap on the front to decorate that. So let's do it like this. Okay. All right, then I cut another piece of designer paper and cardstock to go at the bottom. This is two and a quarter by two and a half and two by two and a half. Again, I will put all these measurements online, so don't worry about that. Just go to my blog, stampwithpeggy.com, up here, okay, and it will have all the measurements on there um, tomorrow. <clears throat> Okay, and then this is just going down below that hole that we punched. And then we're gonna take our little candy bar. Hi, Glenda. All right, and down in there. See, and here's where I don't like when it shows that little seam like that. It's just not finished. So I took a piece of Whisper White and I stamped just for you. And I'm mounting it onto a piece of Real Red. <clears throat> Remember how we have two sides to every piece of paper? Just in case we like to practice, practice, practice. Okay. Now, this way you could put who it's from. I'm also going to stamp off some little snowflakes out of this stamp set, uh, Warm and Toasty, with Real Red ink. And I'm just going to stamp off so that I get just some light colored snowflakes to help decorate. I can still write my name and see that over the top of those snowflakes, but it just gives it just a little bit more pizzazz. Okay, and then we're gonna stick this right up over the top of that seam, right up at the very top of it. Okay, so it shows there. All right, now it's time to decorate the front of it. So, I stamped the reindeer on a piece of Whisper White. We're gonna use our Stampin' Blends to color it in. I'm using the dark real red for the um, bow. All right, I need to use the other side when I'm standing. Hi, Miss Sandy. I'm trying to watch the comments a little bit on my phone as I'm trying to do this. so. I'm not trying to ignore anybody, and I love you guys for joining me. I so appreciate it. Um, most of you who do know me know that this kind of freaks me out a little bit, and I am pushing myself because I really want you guys to be able to make some fun treats and quick and easy cards over the holiday season. All right, so there's our bow. We're going to use dark petal pink for the center of his ears. Okay, and then I'm using light crumb cake 
for the hooves. Hi, Tammy. And I know Robin's there, too. I saw. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I use my blends so much, they just keep drying up on me. I have to keep ordering them. And not because they're bad, just because I use them all the time. Oh, Sherry, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, and then I'm using the dark crumb cake to color the rest of the reindeer in. Now you're going to love the next part because we're going to use our paper snips and we're going to cut them out. There's not a die or a punch, but it's not too bad of a cut. And it's just way cuter when he's cut out and dimensionalized. Because again, you know I love the dimensionals. Right up around his ears and finally his face. I love this stamp set. I kind of bypassed it when the catalog first came out, and then I just absolutely fell in love. I had to have it. Ugh, fussy cutting, Tammy. No, it's quick and easy. Remember when you're cutting, number one, don't try to cut right on the black line. Just leave a little edge of white. It will hide any little jaggeds that you do. Um, completely will. And then as you're cutting, don't move your scissors. I mean, you're kind of, you know, opening and closing, but if you keep turning your paper, it's much easier to get a nice even line. Okay. Now you don't have to, but I am cutting up into here to get rid of this little piece of white here too. go around this leg hi Heather all right and then I am gonna cut up into this one since I did on the other one I'm gonna take that little piece of white out up around his tail the antlers are probably the worst part, but even that's not bad. And if you really struggle with it, cut the antlers off and make it a girl reindeer. Okay. Everybody getting ready for Christmas, starting to think about Christmas. Did everybody do all their shopping online over the last couple days? I'm kind of struggling with that. I have no problem if I know what I want, but if I don't know what I want, it's hard to try to shop that way. Um, I know something everybody should put on their wish list. Ask for a Stampin' Up! gift card because come January 5th, when the new spring catalog comes out, um, you'll be able to order the new little mini stamp cut and emboss machine. Not stamp machine. It doesn't stamp. Uh, the cut and emboss machine, the little mini one that's perfect for right on your little workspace or to take traveling with you. It will be available. I got ordered mine today. So when it comes, hopefully it'll come during the 12 days of Christmas and I can bring it on and share it with you. So Ask for a gift card for Christmas, and then we can get it ordered for you in January during celebration. Um, the little mini cutter is $60, so you'll be able to also get a celebration item with it. Okay, sharing Christmas cheer. I stamped on a piece of Whisper White, and I'm going to put that onto a piece of Real Red. And then I die cut. A whisper white circle and the stitch shape circle with the real red okay so I used the third size up for the stitch circle and then I used let's see what would it be one two three the fourth size down fourth largest plain circle 
And so you're just going to adhere the two of those together. I didn't use dimensionals between these layers. Of course, I did use dimensionals when I put these on. You know I did. All right, and then dimensionals on our reindeer to make sure he stays on good. And we're gonna put him right onto the circle. So his feet are kind of extending past the white and then up above a little bit also. Well, I got that a little crooked. Okay, but then we're gonna put this circle on with dimensionals. We're going to put this greeting on with dimensionals. Okay. I've got a piece of the sheer red ribbon. We are going to just now, again, our chocolate's inside. And then, and you could, where's that dollar bill? Of course, we'd want to give more than a dollar bill, but behind Santa, you could tuck some money back in there as a fun little gift also. See, I'm all about all the gift cards this year. All right, and then we're just going to wrap the sheer ribbon around to hold that down so there's no peekaboos. Oh, and of course, I can't tie a bow when I'm on camera. Come on. There we go. All right, then peel the backings off the dimensionals, add our little reindeer right there, add our greeting up above, and ta-da! He is all set and ready. Untie it, and I'm going to cheat on this one that's already untied, and there you go. Add your little name on there, and you have the gift that is all set to go. Um, Jackie, I see you leave a message. You just caught the tail end of it. I will be posting it on my YouTube channel also. Some of this I'm still trying to learn my way through. Um, so bear with me a little bit, but it will also be on my blog tomorrow. Um, and if I can get the video on there, I'll do it there also so that you guys can find it no matter what or where, okay? So here's a host code. If anybody needs some supplies for your Christmas things, you can use this host code for the next two days to place your orders. I have to close this out shortly. Um, I will actually cut a set for you to be able to make these. I have oh, about 12 of the chocolate um, Santas left that I will include the chocolate and the supplies to put this together. Now, I can't stamp and include that. So if you don't have the warm and toasty stamp set, you would have to use something else for the message or the, the picture and the message, okay? But you would have and be able to make the fun little treat. See, it holds the chocolate right inside so your money would be tucked inside nice also, all right? So thank you guys so, so, so much for joining me. Come back tomorrow night at seven o'clock and we will make another fun little project, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.